Hey, this is Jolene from the Face Painting Forum Shop, and I'm going to paint for you a winter design, and I'm going to use an Always Wicked Art sponge, and I'm going to come in with the metallic white on the whole sponge, and then I'm going to come back in with some Ziva Blue on the edge. Any metallic blue will do. I'm going to go over my eyelids and just above the brow tapping that down and then I'm going to come across my forehead in a half circle I tap down the edge of the blue first and then I blend the white out into the bridge of my nose then I'm going to come in over the top of my cheekbone now after I uh, get that put down then I'm going to put some white shimmer glitter over the entire design that way It'll stick to the paint. I'm also going to come back with a stencil. I'm going to use the Mandalas stencil over the design. You can get those here at the Face Painting Forum shop. I'm going to use a darker metallic blue over that. And I'm going to make sure that it's not too wet. And I'm going to put press down. And then I'm going to put this over. It gives the effect of a snowflake without having to worry if your snowflakes are perfect. I'm going to go over the white and blue over my eyelid and then I'm going to also do it on the cheek and when I paint I'm going to try not to cover up too much of the stenciling that way you can see how pretty the stencil is. You can also get those here at the Face Painting Forum shop. Okay, I'm going to come back in and I'm going to use a nice big uh, number six to make some uh, big fat teardrops. And come down the center and then on either side of that long one I will come down and around the stenciled area. I'm going to take a series of three fan shaped teardrops. You want to make your first teardrop and then scoot down just a little bit as you come in and that will give you a nice fan shape. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enclose my eye. I'm going to go around and then I'm going to make a second loop right there at the top part of my eyebrow there. Right as my eyebrow arches. I'm going to come around the outside with a second loop. Now after I do the second loop, I will uh, come back in with some teardrops there in the center. Keeping them on the smaller side. And then I'm going to come back in with a little bit more water, making sure I'm not dripping, but I need the paint wet so I can make nice round dots. I'm going to make some dots under my eye. And then I'm also going to make some on the corner of my eye. And then just filling some space, some empty space in on the outside there. I'm going to do a series of large to smaller dots to enclose the top part of that design. Enclosing that blue and some sweeping teardrops on the outside. Like I said, I don't want to cover up too much of that stenciling. Okay, I'm going to come back in with the script liner. This is my one of my favorite brushes. I use it all the time and I definitely use it for making starburst. I think I end up doing five here, one on each cheek, one on the each corner, and then just one on the top. And then I'm going to make a dot right there in the center. Now you can be done with this design here. Perfect for festival. You could probably do it in, you know, three or four minutes. No big deal once you get going. I'm going to show you how you can take it up a level. I am using uh, the Krivlin, the dark blue. It is 
pilocarp mm, I can't pronounce it <laughs> but it starts with a P and it's the dark blue from Krivlin and I am going to outline it it's a good substitute for global uh, dark blue it is not nearly as thirsty it's just as dark if not darker and as you uh, see it outlines it it's a great liner I cannot say enough good things about this paint that I cannot pronounce the name it is a crazy long name it looks a little bit like pterodactyl so you'll see it when you uh, when you look for the Krivlin and it's in the creamy line so it does not stain that's one thing you have to worry about when you um, buy Krivlin you've got to buy the creamy line or the blues will have a tendency to stain this uh, is the second option you can go around everything it adds about another two minutes I guess if you're painting real time uh, painting on someone else and not your own face and that little brush that I'm using there it's a it's a number three so you can use any number three for outlining if you want to just make sure you get up on the tip of your brush to do your outlining okay so then again you can stop there it looks good um, you can add another layer of design though I'm going to come back and add the blue glitter gel I'm going to add some dots of it to my cheekbone and then I'm going to go around the entire design only where the dark lines are the key with this is to get it thin you need to move the tip relatively fast it doesn't have to be perfect though you can come back over it if you need to It's a little easier to do on somebody else at keeping the tip pretty perpendicular to your face pretty much at a 90 degree angle is what works best for me I'm going around all the bottom parts Alright, and that's my design. I thank you. If you will like, comment, and subscribe, I would appreciate it. And have a great day.